Hey guys, it's your boy Slow. Welcome to another episode of Benfica Career Mode, episode 2 of my new series on FIFA 17. And we're up to our second match. It's against Ruben Kazan in the European International Cup. It should be a good match. And then after this match, we're going to look at the transfer negotiations. Uh, we're going to get some offers in and we're going to make some offers for some players as well. Um, which, they're quite interesting players. I think you'll like my choices as well as Falcão, which I've let you know already about him. Um, so expect to see some transfer negotiations in relation to him as well. I couldn't find a good uh, <laughs> a kit selection there. They're both quite similar. They both got red. I know that the, the second kit here has got more black uh, than red, but I think... <laughs> It's still a bit too close. Anyway, I've put Jonas in. As you can see, I want to try him out alongside Jimenez there. I was expecting Jimenez to be an 80 uh, by now, but um, yeah, he's a 79. Anyway, let's go to the start of the match. Enjoy. Let's hope that we finally win a match. So around 22 minutes into the match, it's Jonas with the possession, passes it to Orta, and now it's Jimenez, he's clear one-on-one, -on -one. what a poor shot there from Jimenez, uh, left-footed, he looked like he was offside, uh, was that an offside decision, uh, let's have a look now, he is creeping down the middle, he is well offside there, and uh, anyway, he, it would have been a really crap shot anyway. Uh, that was terrible left-footed shot there by Jimenez. Uh, can someone let me know? I haven't checked. But is he a left or right-footed player, or is he both? But uh, disappointing. Um, but anyway, not much happening so far. 23 minutes into the game, that's been the only shot from either side. And uh, yeah, I'd love to get a goal, get those three points, get some more money uh, for transfers. I need all the money I can get. And yeah, hopefully uh, to help me sign Falcao. Um, yeah, Grimaldo the left wing back with a possession now, we're trying to find a way through their defence, uh, Feja with a possession back to Grimaldo, uh, the left wing back going towards the middle again, but he loses it, it's Jonathan's now for Ruben Kazan uh, to Devic down the left hand side, uh, he can cross it in, he's got a man on his own there, down to the middle, Jonathan scores a goal, and there we go, our woes start now. <laughs> <laughs> we drew the first match, we're losing the second against Ruben Kazan, totally unexpected, I mean it hasn't been a difficult match, um, that's probably their first opportunity there, there's nothing uh, that the goalkeeper could have done about that, Julio Cesar had no chance, it's a free header right in the middle of the goal, that's worse than a bloody penalty, and we're 1-0 down, what a start there for Benfica uh, in this season, I really hope I can turn this around. So I tell you what, lads, you didn't see it because this is all pre-recorded, but I was pissed off at this point. It's the start of the season and we're losing. That is not what I wanted. Uh, so I decided to put Geds in up front instead of Jimenez. Uh, Pizzi instead of Caril, because I remember uh, playing really well with Pizzi. He is higher rated as well, but doesn't usually play in the right midfield position. I usually play him as a cam or a central midfielder. I also put the build-up play speed to 80. We need to attack a little bit more. I've been a bit conservative in field for uh, 17 so far and yeah let's see how this goes let's see if we can at least get an equalizer and get a point so we can get some money at least uh, at the end of this tournament and it's Ruben Kazan with the possession again and it's Devic down the left hand side Jonathan's making a run this looks very similar to the goal we conceded earlier it's Jonathan's with the possession it's a right footed shot and what a save there from Julio Cesar um, I thought the ball was going to go in it was lucky really uh, we clear it for another corner but they've still got the possession really really tough match today and it's Ozdoev uh, with the corner there and we managed to finally clear it to Gedge uh, with the possession there but he's on his own there's not much he can do uh, we need to start that build up play again and it's Lindelof with a possession down to Grimaldo on the left hand side Orta now with a possession who's there waiting for it's Feja and it's Gonsalgej playing quite far back considering I put the build up play to fast and it's Pizzi with a possession down the right hand side to Feja oh it's Jonas not receiving it there they defend it perfectly and it continues 1-0 Julio Cesar with a goal kick there for Benfica. Almeida receives it. 
passes it to Pizzi, uh, gets in the middle, waiting for the ball. He's still got the possession down the right-hand side. Pizzi's making a run. He receives the ball. Jonas is there waiting in the middle. He stretches his neck and puts it into the back of the net. Finally, we've scored a goal. Uh, Benfica equalizes 79 minutes into the game. I don't know if it's um, enough to win the match. We've only got 10 uh, in-game minutes to get back into it and win it, get the three points. Uh, but it's fantastic that we've finally broken the ice and got a goal. Uh, which is the most important thing at the moment. Um, what a fantastic goal from Jonas as well. Uh, if anyone was going to score with their head, it was going to be Jonas. And uh, yeah, what a comeback there for him after being in the reserves. Fantastic goal. Orto with the possession for Benfica. A nice little overhead through ball to Rafa. It's Jonas with the possession now. Grimaldo down the left-hand side. He doesn't have much stamina. He's going to cross it in. Let's go and get that goal. No, what was that? Oh, that was possibly our last chance there um, to take the three points. But now it's dangerous as uh, Ruben Kazan have got the possession down the right-hand side. My defensive line isn't straight. They've got the possession. Samuel, oh, somehow he lost control of the ball. And Julio Cesar managed to get it. And now it's uh, Benfica again uh, with Gonçalo Gedge. Um I think it was Pizzi making a run down the right-hand side, but we lose possession. Damn it. And there we go, lads. That's the final score. 1-1 one, isn't the best result in the world. Ruben Kazan is a team that Benfica would normally beat every time uh, meeting in Europe or as a friendly. Uh, Benfica would win 9.5 times out of 10. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad result. We got the one point. We're not bottom of the league, hopefully. Or we may be. I don't know what the other results were, but we will get some money from this. Um, at the end of the day, it, it is pre-season training, uh, so it's just getting used to the game. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll get better when the league comes along. But anyway, let's go to the transfer negotiations and um, and see w what players we're going to look at, what offers we get from other teams. It should be enjoyable. That's the most fun part of the season for me is acquiring new players and getting some money from good sales. So I'm hoping to get some offers so I can get some cash for some decent players. Uh, let's see what happens. Of course, a game against Deportivo soon. And uh, we get an offer for Raul Jimenez, but I'm not going to uh, let him go for cheap. I'm going to put him for 23 million euros. I mean, if they're willing to pay for that, then so be it. I'm not going to complain. I can get better, better players um, for 23 million euros. And Andre Almeida as well. Um, I'm going to put his offer up as well, the counter offer, sorry, uh, for around 14 uh, million euros. And if they pay for it, it's fair enough. Uh, for 14 million, I can get a higher than 77 rated player. Anyway, we're going to go into our next match, which, which is the last match before the important uh, negotiation goes on, which will be in between the friendlies and um, the start of the season and the end, end of the transfer window, of course. Uh, so let's watch a few highlights. Let's see how we get on. Let's see if we get any more money in our coffers uh, to be able to buy better players. So yeah, wish me luck. Fired with a possession for Deportivo down the left-hand side. He's still got the possession. Brigantino's inside the box now. And Donne with a header. And Julio says, oh, what a save there. We can't clear it. They've still got the possession. And that was bloody close. Uh, but Carrillo with the possession now. I have worked out that going down the wing seems to be the best option. So I always tend to pass it down to uh, Carrillo or Rafa down the left-hand side. Uh, Mitroglu waiting for the ball there down the middle. Uh, can he get his height to it? No, it's punched out by the goalkeeper. It was loose, but Deportivo managed to clear it in the end and it's nil nil Carrillo making a good run down the right hand side he's got the possession Raul Jimenez there waiting for the ball is he gonna cross it he crosses it Jimenez oh what was that he looked like an absolute full-on retard there handling that ball I don't know what happened uh, but anyway Grimald with the possession Orta now is anyone gonna take a shot Jimenez to Carrillo nice movement and passing but a great save there from the Deportivo goalkeeper and the game remains nil nil but a great bit of play there from Benfica uh, things are getting better I'm getting a better feel for the game. Um, FIFA 17 is starting to feel a lot better now. Uh, but Carrillo with a corner here. I don't really uh, understand these corners. But it goes straight to the goalkeeper. The ball is loose. Uh, but Bergantino gets to the ball and it remains nil-nil. 
And it's Deportivo with a possession down the middle. It's Andone now, fired with a possession, making a one-on-one -on -one run there. And great goalkeeping there by Julio Cesar. And I've realised that I need to make some substitutions. Again, um, they're not so fit down the middle there. Fasia uh, is substituted for Samaris. And we've got an injury there with uh, Lindelof. So I decide to put Jardel in. I haven't played with him yet this season, but he did a good job for me in uh, FIFA 16. So, yeah, it's he's got a much higher rating as well. Uh, but I think Lindelof has got a lot more potential. And yeah, let's see how we get on with those fellas. Still Deportivo with most of the possession. We're finding it hard to string a few passes together. We started off really well, but it's uh, kind of breaking down as the game's gone along. And it's Valle with a possession here. He passes. It's fire. What a shot. I actually thought that was in the back of the net there. That was very close. I think it's gone out for a goal kick. Uh, but it was a great volley there. Left-footed volley. Uh, but it goes slightly wide of the near post there. Unlucky there for Deportivo. And again, it's fired on the attack here for Deportivo. He's going to take a right-footed shot just wide off the far post. And it's all Deportivo at the moment. And they're uh, constructing most of the attacks. And they've had a few shots in the last few minutes. I can't really see a way out at the moment. I have to wait till halftime. Um, Benfica does not feel good to play with at the moment. It may be a case of morale. I don't know. Uh, but yeah... Almeida now with the possession down the right-hand side finds Salvio. He's got a lot of pace, a lot of agility. He does a little uh, turn there. Uh, goes towards the goal, cuts in. Is he going to take a shot? Gedge now. It deflects off a player. Uh, but that's what happens to me all the time in FIFA. There's always uh, someone there to deflect the ball when I take a shot. Uh, but a good, uh, good bit of play there from Benfica. You can tell that the fresh legs are making a difference, especially Salvio down the right-hand side. Uh, but let's see if we can get a goal at some point in this match. Deportivo with the possession again, and it's Valle with the possession, passes it to Fayir, great shot there, right-footed shot towards the far post, a great save there from Julio Cesar, out for a corner, uh, but Fayir, fantastic player, I might check out his stats, uh, see how good he is, <laughs> anyway, Gamma with the possession, with the corner here to Andrade Sidney, Fayir, and it's Fayir that scores the goal, I'm sure it was the last man, no, it was Sidney, I think he used to play in the Primera Liga before, and Brungama as well. If you know, let me know in the comments. I haven't researched this. I'm sure I've seen the Sydney before. Didn't he play for Benfica? A great header there. It was deflected. Uh, what a shame. What a shame that is. But uh, conceding uh, so late on into the game, it's going to be hard to get back into it. And yeah, I'm sure he played for Benfica. If it wasn't Benfica, it was either Braga or Sporting. I can't be 100%, but uh, yeah... And unfortunately, lads, that's how it ended. We lost 1-0 to Deportivo. Uh, we didn't even play that well. There was a few moments there uh, with Salvio when he came in. He showed a bit of promise down that right-hand side. Uh, but we lost. Um, but I'm sure we'll still get some money for, uh, for our performance in this tournament. I think we got two draws. Uh, one was a 0-0. One was, was a 1-1. And this one was a 1-0 loss. Uh, so it wasn't the worst. I mean, we only scored one goal, which is terrible. Uh, but yeah, let's go and see how much money we actually made out of this. Um, it will be interesting uh, to see. I think the top prize was 20 million. Uh, let's go and see in the office what we got for that. Uh, let's see, transfer offer. We've uh, Oh, they've decided to match it for Raul Jimenez. I'll be sad to see him go. 2 million, that's not too bad. It could have been worse. Could have been nothing. Um... Uh, I, but the most of the uh, they weren't happy about that. Well, well. Uh, Lindelof is injured for three weeks. Not great. Let's also replace for now, and then we'll look at the team later. Uh, but anyway, now it's time to progress and see uh, what offers we're going to go uh, get. Sorry, and uh, what offers we're going to make. I'm going to go straight for Falco in a minute. But yeah, let's see. So, as promised, here is Falco. I wasn't actually... I didn't target the player. I didn't search for him. I actually looked for strikers uh, from the French League. And then I saw Falco and I thought, hey, that guy, the guy that can score with anything. Left-footed, right-footed, head, shoulder, whatever, knees and toes. He could score with his ass. This guy was an absolute beast uh, for Porto. He, he sort of lost his way uh, when he moved to Monaco. And uh, yeah, but, he, uh, well, he did play really well for Atletico. He did have a really good spell at Atletico, and uh, he lost his way at Monaco, and then completely lost his way at Chelsea and, and Man United, uh, but he, he still looks like a good player in FIFA, so I'm going to 
Uh, I'm going to see uh, if we can purchase him. Uh, also, I'm going to shortlist a bunch of players and ask to scout further. Uh, but for now, uh, we're only taking Falkel seriously. So we get an answer from Monaco and they want 25.5 million. Well, that's the price of uh, uh, Raul Jimenez, which I, I ended up selling. So 25.5 isn't bad. It leaves us uh, with 14. But I'm not going to offer the full 25.5 just yet. Um, as you can see there, it says you might want to try and get him for less. So that's what I do to start off with. Uh, normally they go, fuck off, uh, pay us a bit more money. Let's see. Oh, Konstantinos Mitroglou, I don't really want to uh, get rid of him. Look at that offer, though, 23.5 million. It wouldn't surprise me if a, a team like Stoke would go after him for real anyway. Um, we're going to put an unrealistic figure there, 31 million, because if I do sell him for 31 million, uh, I'm going to go for a really highly rated striker as well. I might even give up on uh, Falco entirely. And they matched it and decided to go ahead with it. Uh, obviously unacceptable, uh, the 19 million offer. So I'm going to go for uh, 22 million now. That should be enough to unlock their, uh, our coffers and uh, transfer our money to Monaco and get the man we want. And there we go. Another offer, this time for Lisandro Lopez, a 79 rated defender. And um, yeah, as usual, I'm going to go over the top, say 18 million. I don't think they're going to take it. Uh, I don't think Spaniel would have the money to take that in real life, but this is FIFA, so you never know. Um, here's a final scout report uh, for Emiliano Sala. I've heard of this player before, this striker, uh, but he doesn't look that great. He's 26 and, yeah, tw uh, not even 80 rated at the moment. Not worth it. Anyway, another uh, transfer. Oh, no, they decided to, to match the 18 million. I'm selling players all over the place and Mitroglu's gone for 30 odd million and now we have a problem where we're going to need to buy some more strikers. And when I t uh, said about the film that it is signing, uh, Falco, the clusterfuck, um, you'll see I'm offering 75,000 uh, 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 per month, which is a reasonable amount of money for, uh, for a team like Benfica. Um, 75,000, he wants 80, it's close, he's going to uh, decline, obviously, he's going to decline, but it's going to happen, I'm going to offer the full 80,000 as well, and he's still going to decline, and it's going to go on and on and on and on until they finally accept, and I think it, they're going to accept 150,000 uh, per week, which is absolutely ridiculous, uh, but yeah, what can I do, I want the player, I'm going to pay for him. So we're going to have one final offer before I end this video, and the offer is for Nelson. Smith. I don't really want to get rid of him because I know he's got an amazing future ahead of him. A right back, a position that we do need to develop since losing Maxi. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to reject all offers at the moment for him. And we do uh, get another rejection from Falco. And I'm going to offer the the said 150,000 a week and see if we can get him. Well, uh, yeah, 150,000 a week. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Any suggestions and comments, uh, leave them down below. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow with the next episode where we actually sign some players. Goodbye.